Hello, Puff Nostalgia, let's go. Okie doke. This is going to be a, a rather interesting TV show. Uh, Okie doke. Um, created by Cosgrove Hall back in 96. I've, yeah, it will be 96. Written by Jimmy Hibbert, who was actually a famous voice actor, for, well, a mainstay of Cosgrove Hall. He did loads of stuff. I mean, Winter the Winter the Willows is an, is one. Uh, he was the voice of Victor in Victor Hugo Bongs and Crimes. He, you know, he's, he's been a main. He's been a lot of things. He has, and he's reading this, and he voices a particular character of Okie Doke, who is this weird, conquer tree creature. What? What? What is he? Or who? What is Okie Doke? Is, is it like to be like an oak leaf man or something? Or is it like a weird nut oak leaf hybrid? What is he? What is he? That always... You know, it never really bowled me over as, as a child because I've seen Okie Doke. And I'll get to the point when I, was, when I watched it. But I never really really bothered with his image. All I see was, oh, he's just a, char- he's just, just a character that helps out. Look, look, at his na- look, at him, well, look at him as an adult now who's in his early 20s. Uh... You start to see like what is he meant to be, because there's you never really there's nothing really explains what he is very much. If you can comment down below, if someone comments down below, like what is he meant to be or something like that, or who knows. You know, if you wish to comment down below, that's okay. Anyway, so let's begin. So, so okay, uh, done by BBC. It ran for two seasons actually, back in ninety six and ninety seven. Done by Cosco Hall, Jimmy Hurt actually written it as well. And it focuses eventually over a, a guy, someone called Okie Doke, who helps down the local villagers, which is filled with reptiles, mice, hedgehogs, so forth. It's basically like a handyman. He lives over a tree, they ring the bell, and he comes down this one slide. He's very optimistic, and he's very... Um, he's helpful. He's got, he's got like a, um, a balance of stuff, like, like uh, you know, like a kick in his step or something. And very enjoying, very enthusiastic, very helpful he is, you know, he means much to the villagers. They see him as his sort of, like, main helper very much, you know, like... I won't say, well, I won't say it's like a saviour or something, I don't know really, and... He's, all, he's just, like, doing other sort of, like, babysitting, he invents insert machines for children to play, to move around, you know, and... You know, do certain things very much. You know, like it's just helping a community very much. I think that's the main sort of the main idea for it, is just helping community out. I don't know what the main inspiration of Jimmy Hibbert to write this really, but I have probably for that reason why I think all my, you know, friends help each other, neighbors help each other, you know, villagers help out each other. I think that's sort of like a common trail that's been going on for many years. With Okie Dog, it's sort of interesting because the animation style is pretty interesting. There's no human characters, just like weird wool, like woolen animals with hi- sort of like semi-female high-pitched voices, you know. But it's worth doing, and it's not. It's worth doing, and it's something I can do with Ember. So, my introduction to Okie Dog has really come from these compilations done by the BBC. People will know what these are. At least in the late nineties, and I just remember watching just like certain episodes where I can't remember what the episodes are, and I was quite I was interested because I did watch these. I thought Okie Doke was pr- pretty good actually. Uh, animation style really good. It's you know it's sort of past the time really with a compilation because you have such like with you have stuff like Noddy and Possum Pants, uh, um, Fam and Sam, Pingu, um, something another show called Dino Bit was actually which I'm not really covering on this, even though I used to remember watching it and. You know, it was just pretty good, pretty past the time, and those compositions are actually pretty good. There's quite a few of them, actually. People, people, some people know what those those compositions are, really. And, yeah, I find the intro very good, actually, because it has, because, um, there's a guy I watch called, called Adam Martin very much, and, He's pretty interesting. I was, I'm subscri- uh, subscribed to him, and what he does, he he does like a thing called the Sunday Catch Up, and people do like he does like Q, like weekly Q and A's. He does, and one of the questions I put down was because um, he has like a, a fun for nostalgia very much. He because he did, which I forgot to put like in sort of like a little link down below in the Brum um, 
uh, have started to review Brom, which is like he did a little mi- like a thirteen minute documentary about Brom, like a brief history of Brom, which is actually one of his favourites from childhood. And I actually written down this question like, do you remember do you remember like VHS children's VHS compilations or something? I put that down, and he does remember a few because he remembered stuff like. Um, Children's preschool favorites die free version, which he remembers, and another one and he remembers like BBC ones, and he he points out he remembers uh, he calls him Oki Coke actually, which he misspells as Oki Doke, and he puts on the and he puts on the intro the title sequence for Oki Doke, and when you watch that title title um, which is for interest that came out of nowhere, that came that came out of nowhere. So so thanks, Adam. Thank you very much, Red. Wasn't expecting it. I show up in the comments, you know, like I literally wasn't expecting it at all. You, yeah, yeah. The music. When I look, at the, yeah, I may put it on. But when you look into the time sequence, of course, it has like this weird Australian type feel to it as well. Like it has like very spring loaded song sounds, you know, like very nice acoustic guitar, you know, and the vocals come in. You're like, oh, you know, that sort of thing. You're like. It just works. It's like a weird, it's like a weird mythical folk song, very much. But I actually really think it's quite good. I don't know if there's actually a full version of this song on YouTube or somewhere, or or on the internet. I know um, you get like, I mean, back in the day, you used to get like, uh, like, forty five singles of them back in the day, like Possum Pat and Trap Door and Fam and Sam, and I think the shoe shoe people actually got one as well, actually, as I can recall, and you know. It's. I've always been interested. I mean, I've always been interested in that actually, because you know I've seen the, in the full versions how they differ from the actual version. You know, some versions do sound a bit when extended. They're a bit yeah. They don't have much like this all like editing punch that they have on the, on the actual show, very much. But it's, it might be interesting to see this extended version of this so- song itself. There might be. Who knows? Or someone, might, or someone can maybe do a cover version that extended it. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So the VHS compilations was my introduction to Okie Doke, and weirdly enough, um, there's been a few DVD releases. Funny enough, I've never. I was quite baffled when I found out that Cinema Club actually released these on DVD. I think there was the first thirteen episodes. Like you have six, six or seven on one, six or seven on the other. On a second one, and it just quite surprised me actually. Like, why? Why? It's BBC. It's BBC property. Why are they doing that? I think this is a rights issue, of course, because it was also because of Hall as well. It maybe had a few of, um, I don't know, maybe a licensing agreement or something, or maybe the deal had changed, or I don't know. Because with TV shows these days, because you always get different companies uh, licensing and distri- distribute, uh, distributing. So TV shows and it was it was quite baffling because of obviously we you know you know was um with a cinema club very much and I was just quite just I was quite and you know I'm quite unsure about it because it okay doke it's BBC you think you meant it's meant to be on something else like well I don't know really because maybe distributors maybe forgot about it and maybe they've sort of picked up on it and like maybe got the picked up it. Very quick, and I think, oh, this has to be released. So let's let's release this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Okie Doke. It's a nice animated TV show from the, the mid late nineties by the BBC. I remember it from the from the VHS compilations, which I might go into detail soon, maybe soon, or very much later down the line in the channel, down maybe in the future, because there some some of them are worth talking about, maybe on a different video. I'm giving hints here, aren't I? And yeah, probably worth more than talking about it anyway. So, yeah, so it was in, it's interesting seeing this weird leaf nut man or something, what do you, whatever you call him, helping out the locals who are basically one of the creatures, very much. You live in a forest, helping out, living in, uh, helping out, you know, doing doing interesting stuff. It ran for two seasons, so mm, it's done good. You know, has a has interesting lifespan. Very much. You can get it on DVD and, and VHS. You can watch it on YouTube anyway, anyway, or you can live out your nostalgia by watching him on a compilation, which some people actually put on YouTube. They've loaded the whole thing. So, you have a small choice on this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you for the next video. I thank you. Bye. Handyman